Welcome back. In this video, we will learn about the investigative tests that you need to do when a patient comes presenting with stable angina. Number 1. Resting ECG. This is the normal ECG done when the patient is at rest. We can observe ST wave elevations, ST wave depressions in a reversible format and also T wave inversions. Number 2. Exercise ECG. This is an ECG done when the patient is under stress. We can observe ST depressions in this case, but it can also produce false positive result if the patient is on drugs like digoxane. We could also do a myocardial perfusion scan using radioisotopes. If there is persistent perfusion defect at rest plus stress, it's an indication of a previous myocardial infarction or a history of heart attack. We can also do a stress echo or a stress echocardiogram. If a certain part of a myocardium is ischemic, it will not show any contraction in the echo. When all of these non-invasive diagnostic methods fail, as the last resort, we could go to a coronary angiography which is an x-ray of the blood vessels. 